Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tutorial for you. And this one is a nice cool tip that I uh, was trying to figure out how to do and I, and uh, it came out really nice. So basically these are paragraphs that are actually absolutely positioned. And so as I click through here, paragraph two, paragraph three, as you can see they're different lengths and the div that's inside here will dynamically change depending on which one we're using. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, coming right up. Also, if I'm on a cell phone, it'll change dynamically. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure that all out, how to do all that, okay? So the main secret to being able to do this is you have to make sure that uh, your paragraph or whatever you're storing is inside its own div. So I have four paragraphs and I have four divs. Now I call them item one, two, you can name them whatever you'd like. And it's inside a parent div of info display. So I only have here some CSS just for simple formatting. Okay. And as you know, I like to take my uh, divs and put a border, a green border around it. Just so we can see what's going on. So this border right here is actually what's going to be dynamically moving up and down. Okay. And then we have the info display, the P's that are inside there. We're going to make those uh, have a padding of 10. Okay. So that, that should work out really nicely separating everything. Okay. And so um, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our divs that are inside the info display. Actually, before we do that, let's make the info display uh, position relative. And then we're going to take the divs that are inside of there. And we're going to say position absolute left zero, top zero, um, width 100%, height 100%, okay? So now, of course, the parent div collapses, okay? And that's exactly what's cool. Now, even though giving the divs an absolute positioning makes them collapse, the paragraphs, the p tags that are inside are not absolutely positioned. They're, they're static. They're just not giving them, it's not giving the outside div any any uh, height because the divs being absolutely positioned are outside the flow. So all we need to do basically is tell the div to take the height of the p tag within it. So that's what we're going to do with our jQuery. Now, of course, you can do this with JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript, but we're going to make it a little easy on ourselves by doing it in uh, jQuery. OK, so the first thing I want to do is I want to take the info display. Any item that's beyond the first item or any P that's beyond the first P, uh, I want that to be erased. So we're going to take our. Uh, info display and take any div that's greater than the first div and hide it. Now we're going to do something different later on, but for now this should suffice. So now instead of all this gopity gook, we should have just one of them showing up. Okay. So that works out pretty well. Then we're going to say that the info display itself, its height will equal the height. Now, this height can be anything. So let's imagine, let's say it's 72 pixels. So if we say that it's 72 pixels, as you can see, it pushes everything down, but we want this to be dynamic. So to make it dynamic is we're going to give it a variable and the variable will be the uh, item 
one, it's P. And we're going to take this outer height. Why the outer height? Because that includes the padding that we have. Okay. So now when we run it, there we have it. It's the outer height of that P tag. Okay. So now we have that first one. So basically what we're going to do now is anytime we click on any of these buttons, it's going to change the height to be this, uh, this outer height here. So basically let's just go ahead and type our first one. So our first button, its name is button one. So BTN one. So let's just go ahead and do that. BTN one is clicked. We're going to hide everything else or fade out everything else and then fade in that particular one. So let's just go ahead and do that. So we're going to say info display div hide or fade out. And then we're going to say Info display height, we're going to give it all of this. Copy. And paste. Oh, we forgot to say fade in. Duh. So let's do that. We have the fade out working fine. Info display. Uh, or we'll just say info one. Item one. Fade in. There we go. So we'll say run. And there you go. Now let's do the second one so you could see it change. So all we need is this much. We're going to change this to two. We're going to change this to two. And we're going to change that to two. Okay. So we say run. We have our first one. We have our second one. Ah, there is an issue here. So what is the issue? Well, the issue is that this happens instantly. So does this. So it might take a while for the fade in to, to happen before this will happen. So what we need to do is set a timeout. And it could be very small, like 10, 10 milliseconds. Okay. And then we're going to say function. And inside here, we'll put this function. And let's do that again. And say two here. Now, when we run it, and say two, now we have some space there. A little couple of things for cleanup. We want this to look kind of dynamic. So, since we just changed it from one height to another height, it's really simple to fix. We just take our info display and say transition 0.4 seconds or whatever you'd like. And now it actually looks like it's sliding. And as you can see, when we get to a shorter one, it kind of want that green line kind of goes over it. We don't want that. So we'll say that the info display overflow hidden. And now, even if it's bigger, it'll kind of cover it up and it'll look like it's collapsing. So let's finish up the code. So let's go ahead and copy this. Paste it in and paste it in again. And so this first one is three, three and three. And then this one is four, four and four. 
And of course, if you have a, a large string of numbers, you want to do this with an array. But since we only have four buttons, it shouldn't be a big deal to just copy and paste. So now let's see what we have so far. Two, three, four. And now if we collapse it a little bit here, as you can see, it works beautifully. Very nice. Now, if you'd like, you can take away the border, but I kind of like having a border there so people know that that's what all this entails. But that's basically how we do dynamic height when you're doing a, a paragraph. And you can put just about anything in there. Uh, it'll, it'll just, whatever is inside the paragraph or even without a paragraph, uh, you don't have to use a paragraph, but it, that's really up to you. Um, just make sure it's inside of a div and then we can dynamically change the height of the outer div depending on what's inside the inner div. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a wonderful day.